Hi there and welcome to my channel. I am Ibora Toyedet, but you can call me IB. In this video, I will be showing you how to transcribe using the pre-installed media player on your PC. The first pre-installed media player we will be looking at is the VLC media player. Let's dive in. First and foremost, you upload the file you intend to transcribe onto your computer. You save it with a name you will remember. Then you open a blank word um, document ready for you to use for your transcription. Now you open the audio file you intend to transcribe with VLC Media Player. Plug your headset on to your computer, play the audio by using the function keys and then start typing. Now what if the speed is too fast for you? If you can't keep up with the speed of the audio you are listening to, you can do one of two things. You either listen to how much you can memorize, press the pause button, and then type out what you just memorized. Or you can click on the playback button on the current VLC file you're listening to, like so. Now on the drop down, click on the speed icon. Then comes another drop down showing you the type of speed you would prefer to work with. On this drop down, you have the following speed faster with the icon of a deer, faster fine, then normal which is the default, that's the default speed, followed by slower fine and then slower which has the icon of a turtle. Now when I used to transcribe, when I started transcribing, I used to work with the VLC media player. When I had difficulty in um, typing and listening at the same time, I would actually go for this speed, which was which is slower than the one with the turtle. Now, as I gained speed in typing, I progressed to slower fine. This way, I typed while the audio played. Now, unless, of course, the speaker is very, very fast, then you may have to pause once in a while. I have never, up till date, been able to transcribe with the normal speed without listening first, pause, and then type. But if your typing is accurate and fast enough, I believe you can still work with the VLC media file as a transcribing tool. But I will recommend using a real transcribing software anytime, any day. So, that will be all for today. In our next video, we will see how to use the Windows Media Player as a tool for transcribing. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, leave a comment and drop your questions if you have any. If you have not subscribed, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell. Until then, this is me signing out.